Gold has broken out to 2,400 US dollars per ounce. Copper has broken out to all time record highs. Silver is trading just under 30 US dollars per ounce. Platinum prices are broken out towards $1,100 per ounce. And palladium has also broken above $1,000 per ounce. Let me talk you through the game plan here as we then transition towards the end of the week and into next week. This week, we've taken the opportunity now to lock in over 8,000 points of profit with our clients at the Gold and Silver Club. This has been a combination of just under 4,000 points on a trade on gold, over 700 points on silver. We've now locked in 1,500 points on palladium and over 2,000 points profit here on platinum as well. So of course, you know that calculation. Every one lot contract you'd be trading, that's $80,000 of profit. And if you have stacked into the position and built multiple trades, that's $800,000 of profit in the portfolio. The catalyst for this, Tuesday's PPI data, Wednesday's CPI data. So what do you think is going to happen now? Many traders and investors, they're going to look at that data and they're going to look at opportunities now to buy after we've already had a three-day impulse move to the upside. Look out for this on Thursday. We have gold hovering just under 2,400 US dollars per ounce. Silver is currently consolidating under 30 US dollars per ounce. Copper it broke out to all-time record highs, but now after three days of retest back towards the all-time record highs, it's starting to consolidate. Platinum is similar. It's holding below $1,100 per ounce. We have the dollar here starting to find a bit of support at the current swing lows, building up a bit of a base here on Thursday. Look out for it. Look out for the trap of many traders and investors who've now digested the data. They're deciding that it's now time to go long. There is a big trap potentially being set here in the market. As mentioned before, we utilize these news items, PPI or CPI data as exit liquidity. You don't want to get long off the back of those news items. You want to be early. Get in when there's fear at the market. Buy down at the swing lows. Accumulate your position and then wait for the catalyst, the big breakouts that we've seen over the course of this week. You know if you've been following our reports, we were banging the drum with you just a couple of weeks ago, in fact, that Palladium was a massive opportunity down at $950 US dollars per ounce. Again, it's currently trading above $1,020 per ounce. Platinum, we've talked to you through this multiple times over this year, huge buy opportunities down at $900 per ounce. It's now broken out just below $1,100 per ounce, over a 2,000 point move. Very straightforward opportunity. Oil last week, we got another dip back down towards 77. And yet again, on the CPI data, just ahead of that, we had a sell-off down towards $76.60 per barrel. We took an opportunity to sniper in again. That position is up almost 250 points very quickly by buying at the swing lows, being patient, and making sure that the setup is all there. Now, with gold and silver, as we discussed with you previously, wait for the washout of the hedge funds and money managers, which has essentially happened over the last couple of weeks with over a 1,500-point sell-off with gold from high to low. And now we've consolidated enough to get that second leg higher. But... We're not taking any chances here. I'm making sure to lock in more profit on the breakout back towards all-time record highs. If it goes up further, I have kept a little bit of exposure running on those metals to capitalize on more upside. However, if a massive trap is being set here and then we see the sell in May narrative come back in between now through to the end of the month with multiple contract expiries as well, over the next couple of weeks and the potential for the dollar to rip here, I would be careful. You don't want to be a late long in this market. You don't want to be a trend trader that got sidelined throughout most of this rally. And now finally, they're getting their confirmation to buy in at the wrong point in the cycle. And very likely that would just be further exit liquidity for more traders like ourselves to capitalize and bank profit just as the market is about to turn and correct. So just be mindful of that. As we go into next week, we have the minutes of the FOMC statement. They are due on Wednesday. This will likely be the next catalyst. Then as we go into the last couple of weeks of May, we've got multiple contract expiries as well, which you want to look out for because often this can cause more profit taking and the potential for corrections to take place. But again, can't be understated that what we've done over this week is just use this breakout to the upside of multiple commodities to bank a windfall amount of profit. And now we're looking at reload opportunities here, especially on oil as we go into next week. Again, this comes down to utilizing data, statistics, market intelligence. You can absolutely ditch those outdated technical analysis strategies and outdated technical indicators. You'll keep getting in at the wrong prices. You'll keep getting sidelined in the market and it gives you absolutely no edge. It's 2024, the age of data. Further compound this with the capital flows in the market to how the hedge funds, the money managers, the banks, the institutions, how they're all positioned in the market in real time alongside the intermarket correlations, the ratios in the market, 
Further compound that as well with a daily, weekly, monthly, quarterly, real-time data-driven cycle for each commodity. And finally, marry that up with the narratives, the fundamentals, the geopolitics, and the macroeconomics. This is all going to help you massively to get an edge. So with that, if you would like to join our community of successful traders, learn the professional research-driven approach to the market, and join our professional mentorship program, there is an opportunity for you to do so. Just make sure you click in the link below today's report in order to make an application to join our professional mentorship program.